Yeah. I mean, Malaysia are always, uh, again, a good opponent. They've, um, they've got a good history of hockey. Um, and I, I think the way they played today against uh, Korea was, was pretty standard. Um, yeah, I didn't see the whole game. Uh, I'll spend time watching it too, tonight. But um, yeah, we, we, we know what we're expecting on Saturday and we'll prepare for it as, as we prepare for every other game. Paul, you described um, the career performance on Tuesday night as, uh, as average, but you said you were pleased to get a point from it. How did you make of, of sorry, what did you make of today's performance? Did it set up the match? Um, I think the, the way the guys played today was more consistent, and um, at the end of the day, when you score a lot of goals in a tournament, I think sometimes people who come to watch get, get a bit greedy, wanting six, seven goals. And um, at the end of the day, we've had a, a lot of shots on goal, we've had a lot of penalty corners, um, and you know, the key thing is we score enough goals to win the game, and uh, that's what we had to do. Um, what about what about the corners? I mean, I know the first one went in, but I suppose we didn't have much luck from the rest of them. You know, in a tighter game against Malaysia, is that going to be something you look at? Let's hope, yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, hope not. But um, I, I would say, you know, we've got a, a bit of training to do tomorrow, and uh, uh, we've got faith in all the penalty corner guys in our group to to be able to turn it around uh, for the game against Malaysia. Well, you just need a draw. How does that play out, and how you go out? Yeah, I don't. I don't think this group of players, you know, trains and plays for draws. Um, you know, to to end up at, at the the end of this tournament where we want to be, we've got to win games, and you know, the game on Saturday is is about playing properly, and if playing properly uh, secures a result for us. That's what we. Uh, that's what we'll do. Arul, looking forward to playing against Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. It's my second time, I think, in a big event. Yeah, very much. <laughs> Did you watch the match today, Arul? Yeah, uh, same, same with Paul, just what last, obviously, last five to ten minutes. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, we'll, we'll just go and play our game, you know. We can't, we can't think too much about the Malaysian team. We'll just go and do what we need to do. We've been mm -hmm. working for it, so we'll just continue our process. You talk a bit about the, the sort of emotional side of sort of um, coming up and facing. Yeah, it was was project. tougher for me in two thousand and nine because yeah. it was fresh, but now I think I'm, I'm over it. You know, it's it's been here for five years now. You know, so I've been working with the lads for the last three with Paul for three years. So tell me about two thousand and nine. That was the semi final, the Champions Challenge one. Is that was a really emotional game in the, in the sort of the, yeah, the genesis of the right, side. Yeah. I mean, I mean, tell me first of all about how you felt on that kind of day, having got over, got one over in such a tight game. As, as I said, it was tougher because mm -hmm. I think the group of players then, out of sixteen, maybe fourteen, I've coached them. But this group has changed now. Maybe mm -hmm. just left about four or five that I coached previously. Mm -hmm. So, the, the emotional part is is, is mm -hmm. not much, you know. Can you tell us just how much it means to them that the Crown Prince will be watching? It's, uh, it's it, I think <laughs> Malaysia hockey is one of the biggest sport. I think after mm -hmm. football and a lot of. Uh, support from the sports council and the government and everyone are full time <coughs> players are full time which we don't get that here mm -hmm. um, I wish we get um, so there's, there's a big thing biggest thing and Malaysia has not been to the Olympics and World Cup in the last two or three times so yeah. the whole nation is behind them and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and they believe they've got a good team at the moment don't they? yeah they yes. have they've got very very good players fast and you know mm -hmm. fit but no, but it's sorry. It's the nature of the the, the the people who are watching believe that this is a special team. Do they? I don't know that you must ask the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, if I have more questions, we'll just take a couple more and then let the team get back. It's not a nice sellout crowd on Saturday. Did the, did the crowd actually let you? Did it want to vote you? Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Um, as we've been saying, this. It's, it's easy for them to, to get it uh, live when we're going forward, but it's, when we're back against the wall, it's always it's always good to hear them and, and supporting us, and that's that's very important for us. So yeah, we're urging everyone to come out on Saturday and on Sunday to move yeah. us forward. Um, one more, a bit of a random one, I suppose, but um, Ronan, this was for you. If, uh, in terms of tournament play, I mean, uh, fitness-wise at this stage, I mean, obviously you've prepared for this, but like, with, is there any concerns with that element, or do you think you've it well? I mean. Is it something that, that is a factor for you guys going into the weekend? Then? Um, probably a better question for our fitness trainers, Johnny Karen and, and Stephen Barry. Um, they'll tell you we're in, we're in great nick. 
Um, we feel in great nick, so um, done the work to, to get through a tournament like this. Um, so we're, we're confident we will. Just one thing, how's Connor, by the way? Yeah. Connor is, is stable <laughs> and um, obviously he's ruled out of the event, but I think everyone's very pleased that he doesn't have a, any massive damage after a pretty serious blow to the head. He was walking around outside, I think, was he? He yeah, was up and about. I'm sure he would have been around. Yeah. Yeah. And what effect does that have on your defensive rotation? I mean, does it make it a bit tighter for, for numbers? Uh, Stephen, I, I think, um, you, you know, you would know the group over the last 18 months. We bought a, a fairly sizable uh, panel of players, and I think at this stage the number of players you can play at the back in the midfield and that is, you know, is okay. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that, guys, and let's yeah. get on.